The member for Hughes. Thank you, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. I appreciate the member for Bass's concerns about poverty in this nation, something every single one of us in this parliament is concerned about. But firstly, Madam Speaker, we should be very proud in this nation of the strong social safety net that we have. Our welfare bill is currently around $160 billion a year, a sub quite a substantial sum. And in fact, a third of all government revenue goes into that welfare section. But, Madam Deputy Speaker, unfortunately, when it comes to poverty, although the Labor Party like to talk about it, the policy prescriptions that they push will actually cause greater poverty. And we saw that there from the member from Bass's speech. Now, firstly, he spoke firstly about penalty rates. Now, I'm glad this penalty rate decision was made because it exposes some of the misleading statements that have been perpetuated by members of the Labor Party. Firstly, Madam Deputy Speaker, the penalty rate decision does not apply to emergency services workers. It does not apply to public servants. It does not apply to our nurses. And they are the groups that for the last couple of years that the Labor Party have been scaring, telling them that their penalty rates were under threat when they never ever work. And of course, Madam Deputy Speaker, when it comes to the hospitality industry, it doesn't affect any workers from Woolworths or workers from Coles, as the Labor Party found out where they sort of rusted up some poor young chap and had him there to make him a fool of himself, embarrassing the, deputy, embarrassing the opposition leader, claiming that his penalty rates were going to be cut when that was utterly false because he was an employee of Coles. And the employees of the big supermarket chains the big retail chains, their penalty rates are not touched. Yeah. The penalty rates that are changed, but I take the interjection there. Now, what we also should remember when it comes to penalty rates, it was a decision made by the Fair Work Commission. And who set up the Fair Work Commission? Madam Deputy Speaker. The Labor Party. And who selected the Commissioner? The Labor Party. And what was the Commissioner's background? Madam Deputy Speaker, that of a trade union official. And he looked at all the evidence, Madam Deputy Speaker, and it was his decision, his decision after looking at all the evidence, that there would be more jobs created, more opportunities, more chance of people to lift themselves out of poverty by having a job if that change was made. Now, the other thing when it comes to penalty rates, Madam Deputy Speaker, it is simply incorrect for the Labor Party to run around saying that people's wages are necessarily going to be cut. There is no compulsion on small businesses that this applies to to cut their penalty rate. And yet we have already seen, for the members' education over there, we've already seen several companies come out yesterday and say that they will not reduce the wages that they pay to their staff. And why would they? If they are running a profitable business on the weekend, if they have good staff, there is no requirement to reduce those salaries. And that is what they have said, Madam Deputy Speaker. But the real concern about poverty in this country has to be the cost of electricity. Let's just look at a couple of examples. In New South Wales, a, in New South Wales, the electricity price, Madam Deputy, residential price, we're, we're happy to talk about electricity prices every single day to the next election. Every single day we will be talking about them because the public will wake up. The public will wake up and they will realise that your absurd 50% renewable energy target will push up the price of electricity and increase poverty in this nation. Now let's just have a look at where we are already. New South Wales, average electricity prices for 2015-2016 were 20.93 cents. Unfortunately, in South Australia, where they think it's really clever to have a 50% renewable energy target, electricity prices are 50% higher for residences, around 30 per cent, 30 cents. And what effect does that have? We only have to look at what effect that has to poverty. Just let's have a look at the comparison of electricity disconnections between New South Wales and South Australia. On firstly, hardship programs. For every per head of population, there is double the number of people in South Australia on hardship programs because they can't afford their electricity. When it comes to electricity disconnections, I can't think of anything worse than someone having their electricity disconnected. 
In South Australia, because of their high electricity prices, it is 60 per cent higher per head of population. So I call on the members of the Labor Party, if you're concerned about poverty, drop your 50 per cent renewable energy expired. target.